Hello, the Ballmeister. Welcome back to more Lego Harry Potter years five through seven. <coughs> First things first, we'll fill this. Seems like, come on, use Augmenti. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, use it. Fine, I will use it. Take out the flower there. Bunch of studs, which I'm not gonna complain about. However, I might need to re-put the goggles on. There we go. Very much gets us our cheap brick, which thankfully is very, very close over here. Headed off to the elm to find out that it is fast dig. That'll be handy. And a mushroom. Those gladly. All right, it says there is another gold brick around here somewhere. Look at me that. Take that. Cause time is over. Chase studs down. Sure. <laughs> Now let's go. We've got a level to go complete, so let's go complete it. Actually, there's something that I could do down here with Snape's. Or not Snape's, with the Hagrid's. Uh, <coughs> oh no, I need a strength character, and I don't have anybody with strength yet. I think the potion that's supposed to be out here isn't working yet because we're still technically going through story. Oh no, I guess it is. Alright, pump it up, Harry. Let's go. We'll see how long this potion lasts for. There we go, got it. Excellent, we got a gold brick. That's out of the deal. Now, there's nothing I could do over here, right? See where the Quidditch field normally would be accessible. You can't go that way. Off. Okay. We'll 
Follow the ghostly stats. Follow the ghostly stats. Follow, 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 follow the ghostly stats. Ghostly stats are great. Yes, they are. Being able to have the ghostly studs early is fantastic. And what will be even better is when we get the uh, next multiplier, which I think will probably happen right after. Uh, so when we start next episode, I think we'll be able to t tackle that. Uh -huh. Of course, with the ghostly studs, they t they're out here in yield distance. All right, that leads me back down a different hallway. So let's get my self on the mute button here. Because here comes the last episode, or the last story chapter for the Half-Blood Prince. Horcrux in the Hand. That hand is really going at it. Harry's like, I got it! Let's go, dump that in there. Harry takes a Duncan. And then this is where... We teach about the Horcruxes. Six of them. We know already about two, three of them. Rebel Space Trends Voldemort. We already know about the three. The book. The ring, which Dumbledore took care of. And we know about the third one. A, di uh, a locket. And Hag uh, Dumbledore is going to take us to this very desolate rock. Out here. It's going to show us this magnificent pathway to a cavernous, to a cavern, cavernous, cavern, cavernous cavern. That's a phrase that still struggled to come out of my face. All right. We, get, we actually got our first opportunity to, to use the apparition circles. Those will help Harry move around because Harry is under age at this point and he's not able to apparate. Harry, of course, 16. Last point in to apparate, you need to be 17. Double door is stuck in the water. Dumbledore, why are you stuck in the water? Get out of the water! There we go. Sure, we'll get you. Hold on a second. For me here, I need to adjust... For you guys, nothing's going to change because it's out of that. For me, however, I might actually be able to see a little bit better. Oh, I'm not changing. It's definitely not ideal still, but you know what? It'll work in my favor. 
as long as Dumbledore doesn't fall off the rocks again. <laughs> sounding, I think. Gonna open up for over there. Of course, how fitting. Oops. Fitting it is that it is. Markers of Slytherin and the like. Okay. Brain's like, oh, come on. down here. Bubble bubble soil in trouble. Okay, they're getting very squishy in here. Pull that out. Grab the... Stud behind it. Up goes the light switch. All right, it's a good thing we kept Harry. Tone does not change. Like in a lot of like these Simon Says kind of things, the tones will change based on the object. Huh. Huh. 
for this to tone is the same. Okay, get Fred B on the mark because there's going to be a middle scene. All right, now we go. Harry's paddling the boat onto the center portion of this island cave. So we need to explore. What's going to happen is I'm going to need to explore as much of this as I can currently. Because once the big challenge starts, it's going to be... That's it. Not necessarily madness. It's just it's not gonna be as easy. I want to say an easy challenge. Okay. I also have to see. I'm hiding back there. And that's why you don't get too close to the water of the Haunted Lagoon, kids. Alright, then we'll unlock the next set of buttons. Just gonna wait for Dumbledore to wander it himself over here. So we can run down here and grab our other bit of business. Dumbledore to drink another cup there. Glass there. Okay. Fourth cup. Last one, come on. <laughs> got it, and now I got it in because there's more music coming. All right, here we go. So now Harry's going to get drugged to the depths by this thing. Dumbledore blasts everything around. Got it. And now we've got to run. Of course, you can't get out of here. Excuse me. Meanwhile, Draco has let in the Death Eaters back into the castle. All right, Harry and Dumbledore, now that they're out of cave, are able to apparate right back out. He sends Harry off. That cursed hand. Oh, it's Draco. Draco and Dumbledore. 
Well, at least they're... Oh, that cursed hand was holding the wand. Uh, Snape. Snape goes shush. Out pops Snape. Up the tower. Dumbledore's like, okay. And that cursed hand. Gonna join back in. Bye bye. Whoosh. Death Eaters is elevating as Dumbledore has fallen. The biggest challenge to to Voldemort, as it were, was du was Dumbledore. Now the Death Eaters are taking over. Still a toasty. Be careful. So even if I want to reach the studs, I can't necessarily do so in two spots. Sorry, Jenny. Like there. That is hot. some of this fire. Studs that I cannot collect because they hit these hot spots. Uh, and it's a little toasty. I can come back down here. Not for long, though. Got not a whole lot of stuff here. Right tackle, but at this point, we're at 167,000 studs. We have not already hit these. Stud total without the attempt. without the attempt to play a little bit of trouble. in peril. No studs there, but okay, we'll make it work. We need a strength character to take care of that. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and duel. Speaking of... Oh, we're dueling Snake, too, for that matter. Out of mute because we've got one last duel. Oh, Bellatrix is just too much for both Harry and Ginny. Of course, Bellatrix is like, Yeah, no, you barely live this time, kids. And Snape does his ultimate reveal, he is in fact the half blood prince. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. Out he goes. 
And as they, they continue to do damage to the grounds, there's the death or the the dark mark rages across the sky. We've got double doors demise. And the trophy of the half blood. I am the half blood prince. Get 5.6 million studs. We did collect the student and pearls. That's nothing more correct. That's three. Most excellent for us. There's 74, 75, and 76. All right, let's go ahead and finish the story, which means I need to mute. Yep, all right, so as the Dark Mark continues to hover over the top of Hogwarts Castle, Dumbledore just buried in the dirt. Can, can I? Dumbledore. Dumble. Thank you. <laughs> Dumbledore. And now everyone starts blasting giant beams of Lumos. But all that work was for naught. As that was not, in fact, the correct locket. But, we're still missing three Horcruxes, and one that we, uh, one that we don't know, or three that we don't know, and one that we do, and there goes Fox, that's it, there, get the credits there, 26.3%, we'll get this, off and going, and we are out here, outside. Year 7 begins on a dark and stormy night. So come join me in the next one, shall we? As we take another adventure, if you will. We'll start the first of the two Deathly Hallows movies in the next one. Until then, I am the Bumeister, and I have been obediently yours. <laughs>